The fastest blitz in the game is the 6-1 blitz out of the 4-3 and 6-1. Wanted to go over the setup for the blitz for you guys today. If you guys want to get my full 4-3 and 6-1 defensive ebook, it's available by becoming a member of our school community. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks over there, both for college football and for Madden. We're going to be doing content for both games over on that school page. And uh, let's go ahead and just get into the defense here. Now, when I run 6-1, I like to do it with auto flip defensive play call off. Off. you don't have to well I mean you don't have to come out in a a base line if you come out in the Sam blitz if you wanted to run a man version of the defense you certainly could do that especially with how good the corners are I don't think that's a bad idea you just need to make sure that if you are going to do a man alignment or default alignment that both of the outside linebackers are blitzing otherwise it will mess up the alignment of the defense option defense on conservative and then when I rock six one when I'm running this version of it I'll rock a, a match if I'm not rocking a man alignment, if I'm running a base alignment, then I'll put this on default. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the blitz setup. So the reason I like this kind of man look is I just think it's a really good look. And let's say, for example, that they go to – let me just show you some formations. So like, let's say they go to doubles. Watch how the linebackers kind of stay at home. The reason they're staying at home is because they're on a blitz angle. And then let's see here if I show you – We'll go to like a trip set just so you can see how that all would change. So you see how the corner kind of goes over there. Now, this trip side end is going to give this the most amount of issues, this specific alignment. But I do think this is a really good alignment in general. And if you want to stop that, all you gotta do is baseline. Now, one other thing I wanted to say before we get to the blitz is if you do baseline, take a look at the defense alignment here. You see they're not, there's not going to be a significant amount of change. So you don't have to. Uh, as far as the actual setup for the blitz, literally all you're going to do is you're just going to stand in this right side gap. And then what I like to do here, like let's say, for example, you were actually running this defense. One of the things I like to do if I want to send a heavy blitz is I'll move this guy over and man him up to the tight end. And then I'll actually walk down with this defender right here. And we'll play really aggressive against this bunch strong offense. And what you'll see is you're going to get double edge pressure super quick. The reason the splits is so good right now is because the – the speeds in ultimate team are super good. Like you have super fast players. So having a six, one base defense is, is actually super, super effective. Now, another thing that I like to do uh, in terms of this defense is just send five. So if you only wanted to send five, what I recommend is typically sending the five off of the left side. I just find that to be the most effective way to do it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to contain and then we're going to blitz the linebackers. Uh, the reason we're going to do that is because when we zone out this linebacker to the right, it's going to put that guy on the right on a contain. And then if you want to man your user up on the running back, go ahead and be my guest. One of the things I like to do is just cross man the running back with that safety. You know, so you see something like this right here. And what you'll see is oftentimes you're going to get B gap pressure, super fast, little B gap rush on that left hand side. Now, if you wanted to play coverage from this, it's really simple. All you're going to do is you're just going to give it the same exact look. What I like to do with this coverage defense is I actually like to crash my defensive line inside, and then we're going to kind of go with some different coverages. So what I like to do when I'm playing coverage is I like to play zone on one side, especially against like a bunch strong, and then I'm going to play man on the other side. So you see here we have everybody manned up to the right side, and then we're sending four at the quarterback. This uh, four-man pressure can get disengages, can get A-gap rushes, which is one of the many reasons why I think 6-1 is really good. And then, obviously, 6 one super good run defense, so you're not going to have to worry too much about that. The reason I like to stand to the right side of the center here is I just find that this is going to be the best way to get that B-gap pressure. That B-gap pressure will come in super fast, and so you know that's really the best version of the blitz. Another underrated thing that you can do is you can only send – if you only wanted to send three, you would blitz your user, and then what you would do here is you could go with a coverage defense – that looks, you know, something like this right here, uh, which is certainly fine. And with Lurk Artists everywhere, this is actually a really viable coverage defense this year. And so you could play something like this, you know, maybe man up that slot receiver. What I like to do when I do man people up is I like to shade them outside. Um, the reason I like to do that is just it'll help with the, the, the corner routes. So now maybe they're blocking people. You've got a nice shed. The 6-1 gets the best sheds in the game. And then you're also going to have a really good coverage defense in behind it. So... These are the different pr pressure variations that you can run from 6-1, and you can do a lot uh, in terms of your coverage. It really sky's the limit from this formation, but this five-man blitz is really my favorite version. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get the full ebook on this defense, the link is going to be down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you can get all of our NCAA and Madden ebooks over at the school.com community.